13 months since Nancy Barraza was sworn in as Deputy Chief Justice and a seven-member tribunal has rendered her unfit to hold office. That Lady Justice Nancy Makoha Barraza, the Deputy Chief Justice and the Vice President of the Supreme Court of Kenya, be removed from office. Baraza was facing three allegations, one of harassing Kerubo, threatening to shoot the security guard, and creating a disturbance at the village market on the evening of the 31st of December 2011. There is no doubt that there was an altercation between the DCJ and Kerubo. One of the issues that cost Baraza a victory was her lack of consistency in her statements, not to mention that of her bodyguard Omondi. We find Obondi, Obondi to be an unabashed liar. He claimed that he went into the village market on that faithful day with a pistol on his body, and that he had, show, he had to show his police identity card to Mahano. The latter denied there having been any person who passed through the security desk with a pistol on that day. Further, Baraza attempted to get Kerubo to change her statement. Though the tribunal was not to determine how Baraza ended up with a gun, they faulted the police officers investigating the matter, claiming they did not pull their weight. Had they done so, the police would have presented independent witnesses, such as two security officers, who were close by during the altercation. Baraza's possible hope lay in the fact that she was allegedly distressed on the 31st of December and that she acted in her individual capacity and not as Deputy Chief Justice, excuses the tribunal found extremely flawed. Let us assume that her state of mind was disturbed, as Afua said, when Kerubo trailed her to the pharmacy and demanding to search a handbag, she should have led her to do so. The tribunal reported that Baraza's action did bring the judiciary to ill repute, given her level of authority, and if indeed she was handed a slap on the wrist verdict, there was no evidence to show that she would not use her position of power to her advantage. According to the Constitution, the President is bound by the recommendations given by the seven-member tribunal. It's only now a matter of time when he decides to remove Nancy Barraza from office. However, she does have a 10-day reprieve where she can appeal at the Supreme Court in hope of a different verdict. Catherine Omwando, KTN in Nairobi.